Protologger is an online tool developed to help describe the taxonomic, functional and ecological features of bacterial isolates. This is done using both the 16S rRNA gene sequence and genome of a given isolate. Both the 16S rRNA gene sequence file and genome file must be in FASTA format for submission. As shown, the nucleotide sequence of the genome file of this unknown bacterium has been sequenced and assembled, providing this FASTA file. The 16S rRNA gene sequence must only contain nucleotide bases and no dashes, as they will artificially inflate the sequence length. Protologger can be accessed at protologger.de. We recommend registering an account before submitting your isolate for analysis, allowing you to save your work. Each user is provided one gigabyte of space, enough for a minimum of 20 analysis runs. An account can be made by clicking the Login or Register button at the top. Next click Register here. Enter your details and click Create and your account will be generated. For this example, we will run the analysis without logging in. First, you must upload your data. Click on the Get Data button on the left and then Upload File. Next, either drag your files here or choose Local File. Once selected, click Start and your files will begin to load onto our servers. This will be shown in your history on the right-hand side. Next, on the left-hand side, click on Protologger and select Protologger to load the tool itself. Select your 16S rRNA gene and genome files, making sure they are in the correct input. Click Execute and your analysis will be submitted and the output will appear in the history on the right-hand side. The average runtime is 5 hours, after which all the orange output files will turn green, indicating that they are complete. The job has now finished. As you can see, all the outputs are now green. The Protologger Overview file acts as a combined readout for the user, providing all key pieces of information. By clicking the I sign above any of the files, you can view the data inside. First, we see the quality analysis of the input data, which confirms that the input 16S rRNA gene is complete, as is the genome. Comparison of the 16S rRNA gene to the Living Tree project indicates that the isolate is not novel. This is highlighted by the best match, which states 100% identity has occurred to the sequence of Exibacter muris. To further look into this, the genome analysis is studied further, which suggests the isolate belongs to an unnamed species of Doria. The genomic novelty of this isolate is further supported by all ANI values being below the species threshold of 95%. The percentage of conserved proteins, or POCP value, is above the genus level threshold of 50%, suggesting this isolate belongs to a known genus. For users aiming to describe a novel taxon, Protologger provides all the building blocks for taxonomic placement. However, the user must integrate these blocks together to decide a final placement and if the isolate is novel or not. Functional analysis is done in four parts. General features, pathway analysis, antibiotic resistance, and CASI analysis. General features include the number of transporters and enzymes. Pathway analysis, based on KEG, includes the predicted production of short-chain fatty acids and vitamins such as folate. By annotating against the CASI database, Protologger can tell you the number of casimes present within your genome and gives a detailed breakdown below. The ecological analysis consists of two parts. The first is a comparison against metagenomically reconstructed genomes, and the second is an environmental survey. In this example, a single reconstructed mag has been identified to match the input genome. We will look into this further in the mag matches output file. The second step of the ecological analysis compares the input 16S rRNA gene to 1,000 applicant samples from 19 environments. 
The prevalence and mean relative abundance of the isolate is provided on a separate line for each of the 19 environments. As the isolate being studied in this example was cultured from the mouse gut, we will look into this data. As we can see, the isolate occurred in 12.07% of samples at a mean relative abundance of 0.41%. The next output is a phylogenetic tree based on the 16S rRNA gene sequences of the input isolate, as well as the closest relatives identified by Protologger. As an unregistered user, the tree cannot be visualised, but can be downloaded to your local machine for further analysis and visualisation. For users who have created a personal account and are logged in, trees generated by Protologger can be visualised. After clicking on the file you wish to visualise, Click on the graph symbol at the bottom and you will be taken to a list of tools available to view your tree. In this example, we will use the Phylogenetic Tree Visualization tool. Protologger also produces a genomic tree which includes all close relatives for which genomes are available. The 16S rRNA Gene Identity Scores file provides the pairwise comparison of the input 16S rRNA gene to the most similar 50 species and states if species are validly named or not, based on the DSMZ nomenclature list. Pairwise analysis files are also produced for the POCP and ANI comparisons. The GC content of each close relative is also provided for comparison to the input isolate. The final output is a mag matches file. This provides information about the origins of the mags matching the input genome. As mentioned before, in this example, a single mag matched the input genome. The matching mag originates from the human microbiome and is provided by Pasoli et al. 2009. The metadata column highlights that it was a stool sample from a senior Chinese individual. We hope this has shown you how to use Protologger. For more details about the methods used within Protologger, please read the website.